and welcome to Scholar Online YouTube channel. This channel is all about learning. We teach you how to do it yourself on this channel and learn a new skills. In this video, we are going to teach you how to create your own e-commerce, WooCommerce uh, website from scratch. So this video is geared towards beginners. If you don't have any experience whatsoever creating your own websites, you've come to the right place. The website that we're going to be building in this uh, video from beginning to end is uh, this one. We're going to be selling watches. Our website is called Miguel Watches. We're going to be selling beautiful, amazing watches like this, and we will be using a drop shipping and WooCommerce. So what is drop shipping? Drop shipping is when you create your own e-commerce store and you do not keep any stock because you ship from suppliers and those suppliers deliver directly to your clients, wherever your clients are based. So your clients order from you, you order from the supplier, the suppliers delivers to your client, your client pays you, you pay the suppliers and you keep the profit, the difference between what the client pays you and what you pay the suppliers, you get it. So it's like a bit of a triangle, but in that whole process, some way you make quite a lot of money. And if you find the right products to sell that go really quickly, you can start adding up very, um, you can start increasing your profits very, very quickly. So this is a store we're going to be building. It has a home page. It has a shop page. On the shop page, you will be able to see all the watches that we're selling. And we also have an about page about our business. You're going to be discussing your brand. You're going to be discussing why people must choose you, who you are, and giving clients a little bit more information about yourself. We also have a blogging section on this website where you can start building blogs. You follow along, you will have a website that looks just like this. We are going to start this tutorial with a blank um, WordPress uh, back end. So um, once you do your WordPress installation for the first time, your back end is going to look like this. There's nothing out that we've done to this website to date. Um, if you go to our actual domain, this is the out of the box uh, website that comes with a blank uh, WordPress installation. So I'm going to teach you how to do this exactly from scratch. And if you want to know how to get here, the prerequisites for this course is that you have a hosting account. Um, and if you don't have a hosting account, I'm going to put a link in the description below that you can get yourself a hosting account for less than a hundred rands with domains.co.za. And once you get that hosting account, you will be given access to what they call a C panel. And on the C panel, you can just come to the bottom here under WordPress and you can do a WordPress installation. And once you've done that, you will have your website that looks like that and the back end, which is just plain. So the first thing we're going to do with the plain our WordPress backend is we're going to start by installing the theme that we are going to use for our tutorial. The theme that I'm going to show you today is called um, Neve, okay? I'm going to try out this theme for the first time. I've heard good raving stories about it. So let's see how it goes with this new theme called Neve. So under themes, these are all the blank ones that come in. I'm going to search for, not under install themes, but I'm going to add a new theme and I'm going to search for Neve as in N-E-V-E, -E. okay? And I think that's the first one that comes up there. I'm just going to click install. right it's installed we're going to activate it and once we activate it it's, it takes us here and before we do anything else i always recommend please just go and delete the themes you're not using just to reduce clutter and files on your wordpress so that your wordpress just works better and if you're really not using the theme um why keep it on okay so just delete that and um, delete that. It's easy to reinstall if you decide you're changing your mind later, but it's very unlikely that we'll go back to that theme. So we only have that one theme, the one that we're going to be using. And what I really love about Neve uh, and the good stories I've heard is that it comes with um, templates that you can use for uh, building your own website. So it comes with the pre-built websites templates that you can use. So you do not have to start from scratch. A lot of the themes I've seen come just blank and plain like a skeleton theme and you have to start from scratch building your own website or you have to buy a template kit which is still a whole lot of work. What I like about um, Neve is that it comes already with a template uh, uh, sort of a website kit already built for the theme or the type of website that you're trying to build. So we're trying to build an e-commerce website so we're going to try and look under their pre-built 
uh, websites for an e-commerce website that will suit our needs. So this is going to greatly reduce the amount of time that we're going to spend developing our website because we're not going to even go through template kits. We're not going to try and build our own uh, step by step, you know, widget by widget. We're just going to try and find an existing website that is much as close enough to what we want to do and use that. So um, you can see there, you can try one of their starter sites and that's what we're going to click and have a look at what they have available on their starter sites. So um, a lot of themes that come with starter sites are usually paid for themes. Okay, if you're paying for your WordPress themes, which I do sometimes, especially when I'm building for clients, um, a lot of them already come with starter sites and then you can just use them. But it's not always easy to find starter sites with um, the free themes. Okay, so let us uh, see what Neve has to offer here. All right. So this is all the options of the new Astara themes that you can use, okay? As you can see there, some of them have that green uh, lock key. This is a premium theme. So for you to use that, you would need to activate to pro, okay? Um, but there is also available free versions that you can use to try out. And if you're just building your own uh, e-commerce website from scratch, you're just testing out a new product. There is no need to spend a lot of money on specialized themes and um, so forth. So I'm always trying to find in our video tutorials um, free things that you can find on the internet, but free things that actually work and look amazing, okay? So we're going to try and look through the free themes, but let us be more specific and search for WooCommerce because we want to find themes that are specifically for WooCommerce. And then there's different website builders that they have uh, options for, Gutenberg, Elementor, Brizzy, Beaver, okay? I've only done so far in this in this um, uh, channel uh, tutorials on Elementor. So I'm going to continue with that so I don't confuse a lot of people, okay? In future, we are going to explore all these other website builders. But for today, let's just click on Elementor so that it only shows us uh, pre-built websites on Elementor because that's what we know how to use. Okay, so once you click Elementor, WooCommerce, so these are all the ones that come up. There's a pet shop, um, design themes, and um, so the website that you're trying to build is a website that sells watches, okay? Um, we're going to build a website that sells watches that is called Mugel Watches. So I'm going to try and find a theme that closely matches um, a website for watches. The first one is this one here, the jewelry one. Okay, just because jewelry is close to watches, but I just don't like that blue and I'm going to sell I'll be, I'll be selling female watches. So I'm trying to I'm gonna go for I think this one here Okay, let me look at the bottom. That's a bookstore. I'm gonna go for this one here because I like the pink Okay, and this is a perfume store But we're going to replace it the perfumes with watches and uh, but at least the website will be pre-built for us So let's just import that and when you click import that um, there's a couple of things. You can import the content, the customizer, the widgets. You can import even the WooCommerce plugin so that it comes already pre-installed. So this this pre, this uh, website will come like a working website with WooCommerce, everything installed in it, okay? So we are going to just click import and wait for it to happen. And we will then fast forward to the end of this installation to continue. So all the import is done. Let's just, uh, 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 no, 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 view website. Let's view the website that has been installed. Okay. Let's restart that. Okay. So this is the website that comes pre-built for us and it just looks amazing. I love this. I mean, look at that. Okay. So um, what I want to draw attention to, this website comes installed with um, the pages are built. Okay. The menu is already done for you. Um, the logos, obviously, they've just used the blank logo and you can replace this and put your own logo. You can replace this image and use your, even the words you can replace, but you don't have to think about the design yourself. The design comes already pre-done, free delivery. I mean, it already also gives you ideas. And if you're a new beginner building uh, e-commerce websites, the kind of things you want to display on your first page, free delivery, discounts, exclusive products, you know, it comes already with like uh, suggestions on how to feature things, testimonials, uh, collections brands, you know, and, and what I love as well here, it comes with also, uh, blogs. So, uh, if you, if you go back here to the, to your back end, okay, so I'm going to try and find my back end, which is, um, the dashboard there. If we go back to our back end and we have a look at, 
I'll just close that. If you have a look at your pages, okay, all these pages uh, we didn't have before. We started with a blank slate, remember? So these, some of it came with uh, WooCommerce, but some of it actually came with this um, new, th new theme and the new uh, website we just installed. For example, the front page, which is the home page, this one was came with the, with the, with the installation, okay? And um, also the um, about page came with the installation because that is not a standard WordPress installation. And if we have a look also at our posts, which is the blog posts, this is the hello world post that comes standard and I'm going to trash that. Um, but this one, two, three posts came with the installation. Obviously, you would come in here and redo this post because they're not actual blogs, but this is just showing you how the website will look like um, with blogs in it. Obviously, for you to display this front page properly, you want to display it with a little with some blogs. Okay, there's your blogs. And you want to see how it looks like with the blogs. So they had to just make some fake blogs. But obviously, you will come here and rewrite these blogs for your own type of website, right? So this is where we're going to start, okay, to uh, edit this to make it fit what we're trying to do with our website. The first thing that I want us to do before we even get into editing the content is to try and get the products for our store. So we're going to go to under a WooCommerce, all right, and um, just do a quick um, WooCommerce um, cleanup. So I'm going to go under settings and I'm just going to change a couple of things here for myself. Um, so we are in South Africa, South Africa, I'm going to pick Gauteng, all right, and the postal code where we are at is, just pick that, we are selling to all countries, shipping to all countries, that, okay, let's just sell to um, specific countries, and we are only going to sell to South Africa. Okay. When you're starting an e-commerce store, always advisable to start where you live so you can test a couple of things out before you start shipping everywhere and have complications. Okay, uh, ship to all countries you sell to, obviously. Um, and then I just uh, want to change this to UZAR. Okay, let's just look for South African brands. Right and uh, save those changes. Okay, it's just important so that when we have a look at our when we look at our store and we look at the product prices, I want them to be featured in South African brands. Um, and then we can um, you can do your the rest of your WooCommerce um, you know setup. And I've shown you in previous videos. If you haven't seen my previous videos, have a look at the description below. I will link them there, or just have a look at our channel videos. There's a lot of videos we've done on WooCommerce setup, so I will not go through that here now. But you need to go through all of this and set up your shipping, your payments, and all of that. But this tutorial specifically is is designed for how your store looks and how to pick a theme that makes your store look professional and real without spending a lot of money and a lot of time. So this is currently what our website looks like, but we're not selling perfume. We want to sell watches. I've called my store Mogel Watches. So we're going to be drop shipping these watches. Let us go and have a look at um, um, AliExpress, where we're going to be finding our watches from and um, shop around for the watches that we want. So on AliExpress, I've already searched for watches for women, luxury watches. And um, there's a couple of ones that came up. Okay, whatever brand you choose to go for, you need to click on the watches, okay, and have a look at them in detail. The first thing you want to, to make sure is that the watch ships to South Africa or the country that you're living in. Because on AliExpress, not every product ships to every country. You need to double check where the product ships to. You need to double check the shipping cost and the product cost and make sure that you can afford to sell this watch at that price, uh, cost. So I already like this one and it ships to South Africa. So that's uh, plugins, okay? And I uh, went to add a new plugin because I wanted to look for a new dropshipping plugin, okay? And I add new plugin, I searched for uh, plugins and the one that came up that I thought I wanted to try out is Dropship Me, okay? This Dropship Me plugin, I installed it, I activated it, and once I activated it, it told me I needed a key. So I needed to go to their website and find the key to, act to uh, get the plugin to work. I followed the link, I went to their website there and went through the process and got this API key, okay? Um, this API key, I then copied it uh, and came back 
to uh, drop ship me, which is sort of the bottom there. Okay, and uh, the first time around, you had to put in the key, and it allows you to drop ship up to 50 products for free before you have to upgrade their uh, system. Because obviously, if you're gonna have a thousand products, you're gonna have to pay for it. But for the purposes of this tutorial, that is sufficient. I'm actually going to only import 10 products into my store. So I put in the key, activated it, and um, if you go to your uh, once you've activated it, you go to your import products. Um, this is the page where you can start importing products from and you can see it has up to 61 th products to import. So what I've noticed so far is that this uh, 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 app or this plugin doesn't have the full list of products available on AliExpress. I think, I'm not sure, but maybe they sort of build a plugin and sort of pick the top products they feel people are going to use, but it's not every product. AliExpress has got much more than 61,000 products, but I'm assuming if you're starting out, perhaps you just want a plugin that works and uh, you want a product that you think you can sell. So even though they don't have all the products, I think they have the majority of products you'll be looking for. I mean, look at those amazing lashes. These lashes actually sell really well if you have time to add that into your store. And that's what we did the last time, dropshipping that um, a blackhead remover. And um, so, but that's not what I'm going to do. Nail products. That's not what I'm interested in. Okay. I'm interested in watches. Okay. So I'm going to click watches or I'm just going to click watch and I'm going to search for watch. Okay. And at the top there, it shows you 49 products left. It allows you 50 products. I've already imported one product just to test it before I reshot this video because I didn't want to have the same problem again of importing products with plugins that don't work okay i just want plugins that work and there are so many plugins on wordpress and woocommerce if a plugin doesn't work just a, a get rid of it and try the next one you don't have the time to try and troubleshoot why a plugin is not working okay so these are watches and um i'm just going to show you how easy it is to actually import this and this will show you as you go along how many products you have left and i'm only going to do 10 okay so i want like amazing beautiful looking sort of um classic watches and have a look at the supplier prices comparing it to the price that you're going to be selling it for and the profit you could make okay you have the you can change this value by the way okay you don't have to stick to the profit which they recommend for you you can change the product pricing and i'll show you how okay um so this is the first one that i imported that's 89 rand i wanted something like that's sort of affordable and you can make a profit of 89 rands because they feel you can sell this for 200 rands and who wouldn't buy this watch for 200 rands in south africa i think you can sell this watch for 200 rands and if you think you can sell it for 200 rands to a lot of people this is a good business to start right now okay so let's go down the list and find amazing looking watches um, I like this uh, women's mesh steel and and the supply sells it for two or four recommended two three six I think I can push this even to 500 rands. Okay, so um before you import I just wanted to open a uh, down here So you can see what's available there. Okay, you can see this watch comes in different variations Okay, and all these product variations are going to be imported for you into your store So once you import this product, it will be imported with all the variations Okay, and the shipping method over here. You can just double check um, you want it to ship to South Africa, okay? You want it to import the South African shipping method, okay? And South Africa is there on the list, so that's good. And um, you can then have a look at the reviews. There is 20 reviews on this product. Really beautiful watch. Uh, we've reached, uh, we, we got it in a week. Um, obviously, these are not South African countries, and they get them faster because maybe this, they've got e-packet, but in South Africa, it's probably going to be more than a week. And... Um, um, you, you can you get a drop shipping extension so that you can see this product on AliExpress and I'm not going to do the extension for now because I think um, I'm, I'm, I'm done with extensions today so I'm going to click import this okay and off camera I'm just going to find eight more products to import okay so I don't waste your time and then we'll catch up again once I have imported all the products to the store I'm going to follow the exact same process what you want to look for is the star rating at the top you want products which have more than 4.5 stars you want to see a couple of reviews to make sure that people have ordered these products they're happy with it and the images uh you want clean images that you can do using your store you don't want images that are looking sort of shady and brownish and not so interesting clean images nice star rating 
um, reasonable prices that you can sell in your store and um, uh, beautiful reviews and those are the products you want and then just search through the list and find uh, 10 or 20 products you want to do in your store and I uh, will catch up later. We've just finished importing our 10 products. If you now um, go to your navigation and click under products or products, you will see all the 10 products you've imported. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. And um, I just want to get rid of the perfumes that was here before that came with the theme. So let's just uh, click on highlight all of them and um, mass a delete. Okay. I think you can just bulk move to trash apply and they should all be gone right and um, now we only have the products that we have imported from our um, drop shipping um, extension now um once you complete a drop shipping or adding your products then there's a couple of things you need to do you need to click on the air product itself the initial product um have a look at the images okay have a look at those product images there product gallery um you need to double check your pricing um so under in this case it looks like with multiple variations so you'll have to see it under variations and all the different colors you just open that up and have a look at the pricing that they have set for you okay and the sale price and then just compare that to what you're buying it for on the aliexpress store make sure that the pricing is right and i recommend initially you do this for each and every single product until you get used to how this extension manages the pricing for you because you don't want to sell this for less than what you're buying it for and make a loss but you also don't want to overprice it so sometimes the extension might set a different price for you but you look at it and you think you know what hey i can get out with selling this for 250 bucks so you come in here and you change the pricing there or the sale pricing whichever way okay and then you also want to uh do what we call the um, a related products linked products so you need to come up here and uh, based on this watch you need to have a look at other products you know um, whatever other watches that you have in store and I uh, create you know um, linked uh, products so that when somebody sees this watch they see another recommended watch that they could buy from and obviously there's a whole strategy towards upsells and cross sells and we won't cover all of it now but um, I'm just uh, indicating for you the kind of things you need to do on your product page and then the second thing I like to do I hate images on the description part of the of the page it just makes the page look unprofessional and it makes it really obvious that you just drop shipped this from Aliexpress without taking much attention so I like to remove the images from the description bar and keep the images only on the images section so that the, the description and uh, bar is just covers the description of the product. And then once I'm done with that, uh, I do the changes. And obviously, um, the other thing you want to do is to add it into a category. OK, so I created a category, remove it from the uncategorized and add a, a category there. If you don't have a new category, you could just click up there and add a new category, whatever it is, and remove it from the perfume or uncategorized and put it on a new category so you can be able to work with the product better. And what you can do when you're importing watches, you could sell male watches, female watches, kids watches, sports watches, and you can create different categories for all your different watches that you're selling. Um, and then you'd be able to, on your website, for example, create a menu with, uh, you know, types of categories and you can have men, female, kids, wada wada, and, you know, uh, arrange it that way on your page so that clients can also find it better. But we're not going to cover that in this video. For now, we're going to put all our products into just one category. If you want me to do a video on categories, please let me know. And uh, I think that's a whole lecture on its own, okay? So um, once we've done that, we'll go back to our products and just... Um, um, you know, um, just have a look at that and we're happy with the way that looks. Now, the next step is to modify and edit our theme uh, template and uh, for it to fit the what we're selling in our store. We're obviously selling watches and there you go now. So this is on sale and it looks like um, 
only products that are on sale are showed under the featured products what you can do as well you can just um go back to your products and you can put more products on sale and then they will show up on this uh, featured products so now um to edit the theme okay um we start with um under appearance okay appearance there and we go to customize okay there's a couple of things we want to customize here the first one is your logo okay you want to add a beautiful logo that sets you apart but i like okay that's perfume so i'm not going to i cannot use that okay so for logos we're going to go to our header for this theme and the way this theme is organized okay you have quick links there to just quickly change the logo or the menu or the header color or you could come down up here and you and um it's taking a bit of time to load and you can have a look at um let's just refresh this because we're supposed to see the whole uh, website there and see what we're doing as we're changing it along there you go okay so you need to see what you're doing as you're going along so we go to header and under header um, you can change it there, you can change it down here. So down here you have the menu, the logo and site, and the secondary menu. These are the two things. This is the menu, this is the logo, and this is the secondary menu, okay? I'm happy with the menus the way they are, but I want to change the logo. So just uh, click on that uh, setting there, and you can see the logo that you have there, okay? And um, and you have an option of having the logo as a standalone, a logo with a uh, tagline, okay? Miguel watches, I like that, but this, let's change this logo to one that's more um can i actually use a watch remember when you uh build your product site and this is a good habit to remember uh either wordpress or html site iris wh whatever type of website you're building is to always include alt text in your images and make it a habit so that you do it without even thinking um alt text helps um uh, you know visually impaired people but also it helps crawlers and other people that cannot see an image to be able to hear or read what the image is about okay so um if you want your website for example to be easily recognized by bots but also uh, translatable into uh you know for, for people that are for example visually impaired you must include alt text in all your images so it will read that alt text and associate your description in the alt text with what that image is all about to be able to describe that image better okay so this is an image of a watch okay so a good description for this is like a silver watch okay but I want this to talk about my brand not just a silver watch I want to say a silver uh, Miguel beautiful watch okay so what this will do is that um, your 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 crawlers and your Google um, search engines when they see this image, they will associate it with a silver Miguel beautiful watch, which is a word that they can understand. And your AI machines can be able to identify what this image is about. But it also helps with the image search, okay? Some people, the image search is becoming more and more popular. So people might just search images for a nice, beautiful Miguel watch, okay? And if they search for a Miguel watch, then your image will pop up because it is being described as such and your crawlers have indexed it as a watch. So please always have this in the alt text. And if you want this to be recognized by the search engines as well, include it in the name of the image, okay, uh, .jpg. Include it in the name of the image, okay. Uh, include it in the description of the image and the caption, you can have whatever you want. But sometimes I do that as well and just, you know, just put it all around because um, the description of the image is associated with the alt text, associated with the title. And if you want a search engine to work really well on your uh, pages, you must include it all over your, um, your page. And I'll just, yeah, put it like that. The crop image. And let's have a look at how it looks on my site there. Uh, that's not really a logo, doesn't matter. Um, this is for, for learning purposes. In reality, you will make a proper logo and you can use a lot of free website builder, uh, website uh, logo builders online and create one. So um, that's how you change your logo on the website. 
All right. And if you want to change this content here, you need to change it on the page builder and we are using Elementor. So we picked a template that is working on Elementor because we know how to work with Elementor. We're going to have to go and change it a day. So I'm going to uh, close this. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go to the page builder and to do that, I need to go under pages or pages. And I need to find the home page. And I need to edit the home page. Edit with Elementor. And we're just going to change the couple of things here and make them, you know, like for example, spring collection, that's fine. Um, but remember when you're building your site for SEO and I'm always teaching you how to do things the right way on this channel, you need to consider what is a keyword that you want to use for your website. And you have included that keyword in your image, your logo for the website. And uh, that same keyword, you need to, it needs to be the word, the first word on the first heading of your website. So for example, we want this website to be associated with, um, our watch, uh, ladies, uh, watches. Okay. So let's say that's the uh, keyword that we want. And, um, and you can do obviously a keyword research. There's a lot that goes into that and I've made videos on that as well. But, uh, assuming this is what we want to use as a keyword, you need to always have that in mind when you're building a website because it needs to go into your write up. It needs to go into your alt text. It needs to go into your image name for your website. It needs to go all over so that your website is associated by the search engines as a website that is about ladies watches. Okay. So say like, this is a beautiful, beautiful collection of ladies, a premium brand watches, um, designed for comfort, for comfort and built, built for style, whatever. Okay. You can write a whole lot of fluff, whatever you want to put in here, research some words and just write it up and, um, get your watch. watch in store today with the free country wide shipping and yeah and so in your first paragraph of your website you want to this is the first thing that people are going to see when they come to your site so you immediately want to tell people what your website is about but you also want to grab their attention with things like free you're going to get a free this or a quick delivery, you know, things that are going to make them stay and want to read a little bit more. So, um, that first of, of two or three lines is the most important lines of your entire website. And there's a lot that goes into what you write in there, but it's got to be grabbing. It's got to uh, grab people's attention and it's got to, on the other side, you also want to keep the keywords in there for search engine. And I don't like ladies watches. I don't know. I'm going to change this to, um, uh, boss. Okay, boss Miguel. Okay, I'm gonna change this to Miguel. Boss, boss watch, boss lady. Yeah, boss watch. Miguel, boss watch. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so then I'm gonna have to change my keyword as well to. Um, you know, because your keyword is going to be also something that people are Googling for. Okay. So people are not going to Google for Miguel boss watch. Okay. So your keyword is going to be something that people Google for. So if you're looking for a watch and you go to Google search engine, what do you type in there? Okay. Um, affordable watches. Let me try and see that. You see that already comes up superbly. It's 190, right? So people are going to search for these kind of things. Okay. So affordable uh, watches. Okay. So let's, 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 let's use that. Okay. So let's go back to our Elementor and, uh, say affordable. Just... Oh, ladies. Watches. I think that's better. Okay. Beautiful collection of, uh, affordable. Okay. Ladies, premium brand watches. So you got watches and you got affordable in your first paragraph 
affordable and watches in there and that's going to be the keyword that we're going to be using affordable watches that's what we want people uh, what, what we've picked as a keyword and write a little bit more in there and you only need to include your keyword about not more than five times okay so you have it in there you maybe you'll put it somewhere in there and um I think three times is sufficient, okay? And then you need to put then other related keywords. That's the ones you're going to now put more of, okay, in your in your, in your in your setting. And there's a lot that goes into writing this. And maybe we'll do a, tutorial, a full tutorial on search engine optimization in the future, okay? Um, then let's change this image, okay? Let's change that image and find a... Um, and you can actually use just images of your library, right? Because you now imported a lot of products and all these products you imported from AliExpress came with all the product images, right? So let's see if we find something amazing that we can use in the, like that, okay? And again, let's just say affordable watches, ladies. Actually, you need, one of the keywords needs to be, ex your one of the alt text of your keyword, one of your alt texts, in your images needs to be the exact keyword you're targeting okay but not all of them okay so there's a there's a science to this right so affordable watches okay this is the exactly the exact keyword we are targeting so one of the alt text in your images most probably the first image that you see has to be that exact keyword okay but then the other alt text can be different keywords related to that keyword okay so i'm going to use that for the first image and i'm going to use that as the name of the file as well okay uh no spaces with uh, dashes that works better and uh caption and description as well the exact keyword for the first image that i use on my website okay okay so we're back um we've we uh have added that image there let's go down to the bottom here and uh featured products that's always amazing that's always useful to attract people's attention to the top products that you want to sell you know uh, the top items that you want to draw attention to okay so i'm just going to rewrite this something like you know check out our latest uh, collection or perhaps you know we're in women's month in south africa let's use that right uh, and let's call this uh women's month um specials okay and then we're going to say check out our latest collections of watches selected for the woman on the move um this woman's month okay you can write more um there's there's a um a sort of a recommendation of how long you want your front page to be for seo images are amazing for um uh you know grabbing people's attention but for seo words are key okay so you you've got to design your website to be the perfect balance between attracting people and attracting the bots that are going to make your website visible to people so you gotta balance the two so you gotta get a nice balance between the words and the images and one other thing i forgot to mention and let me just go there real quick okay and go back to my image library and the image that i've selected for this um, um, you need to, uh, double check the size of your images. Okay. So this image is 323 kilobytes. Okay. That's a little bit large for website loading on your front page. You want images that are, uh, below, I would say below even a hundred kilobytes, um, below, you know, because you want your page to load as fast as possible for search and then optimization. So if you find an image like this that you really want to use, that's 300 kilobytes, what I always recommend that you do is you um, download this image and you compress it. Okay, compress it as much as possible without losing the quality to be as small as that image can be re-uploaded. And then I use that here because for your front page, you want to avoid images at all, complete, at all costs. But if you must use images, you must then try and find images that um, are compressed as much as possible. And if you cannot compress it, to below 100 kilobytes you can resize it okay you can resize it and compress it and work with that so that it still looks great but it needs to be small the smaller the image is the 
faster your website is going to load and you want your website to load as quick as possible for search engine optimization i mean i'll show you a couple of things later i'm going to make a video just on seo and uh for websites i've done a video for seo for the product page but for website that's a completely whole new ball game that you have to consider a couple of other things that i didn't include in that initial video so image size very very important to take note of that alt text on images is a must okay then um when you come down here um you, you know when you have time i'm not going to do it here but add more words okay more words words are really good for seo as well and within those words try and find words that are related to affordable ladies watches so maybe you want to say here that um you know um get um real low prices you know low prices is sort of associated with affordable right get real low prices this month only um only from uh what is our website Miguel watches okay so this is related to your affordability theme that you want to push and then down here you can't see anything in there but if you click on that it'll tell you that um this is the woo popular product okay um we are want to um you know pick a couple of products to be added here and um if you look at our website you don't see them on the elementor page but if you look at your website um you have um this one uh you know shown up because i think i've visited this page before okay so um then it's shown up, it shows up as a popular product but over time this will um populate itself and then this is your client testimonials it's just the usual testimonials just put that in there and then let's go in there and change these images from perfumes we're not selling perfumes we are going to put in the images that we're selling so let's put that nice beautiful watch over there and again uh, i'll test in the um you know um cheap i don't know how to use the word cheap uh, i want to use sort of a synonym for affordable i want to say um ladies pink ladies watches okay pink lady ladies watch okay all right and let's copy that put that in, in the name as well okay the name of the image jpg and put that in there and put that in there okay and say insert all right uh, it's purple and um let's change that as well okay and find another beautiful watch to include in there and i'm going to say that sort of like rose gold um ladies watch watch not ladies lady ladies watch is that ladies or ladies uh, English is not my first language, so excuse me. <laughs> and I don't think you can use that in a file name, so let's just uh, put that in there and in there and insert. And you've got that image there, you've got that image there, and obviously when you have time, you can just rewrite this, you know, Chrome, Chrome finish, whatever. Um, you know, go in there and rewrite based on, you know, what really works for you. And we're going to change that as well. And just put in a different watch image that we've got down there, like that one, and a uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, women's watch. Okay, and uh, copy that in there in the file name as well. Um, right, and in there, insert that so that really goes nicely with that background. And say you know um, surprise uh, someone special right and then right in the latest news this is all your blogs obviously you can't edit this in here you have to edit it in your blog section so this is just actually getting all your blogs um, as, as edit post type grid okay so the only thing you can do here is just to decide what you want pages products whatever if you wanted this to be products you would change that into products um what category of products and but we want it to be posted so we want it to show all the blocks that we have and that's okay you edit it in the blocks and let's click update and we are done okay we've updated that um let's go to our website front end and refresh it and voila we've got our website going that sells watches 
and um, obviously we want to do something about the blogs okay okay this is the blog page these are the three blogs that you see okay and um, if you want to see the blog in detail this is what the blog looks like in detail and of course you can go here on your uh, website at the back end let's just get out of here and go into our posts okay go into our just want to be able to see the posts okay if you go to the posts there you will um, these are the blogs okay so if you click on it here um, you will be able to you can edit it completely you know you can change this and this can be like you know how to pick how to pick watches okay how to pick beautiful watches how to pick beautiful or maybe a topic like uh watches still a thing okay think about a grabbing headline and write blogs with your website so blogs are becoming increasingly more important for search engine um optimization and um so you need to uh when you're building a store also consider blogging even if you um sort of copy and paste, not exactly copy and pasting, but copy and pasting ideas. So if you have a watch store and you want to have blog ideas, it's just as easy as Googling, you know, oh, interesting watch blogs, okay? And just have a look at what comes up there, you know. Uh, Timely Reads, 10 best watch blogs, okay? These are the type of blogs that come up on watches. And, and then have a look and get some ideas that you can use your own blogging, okay? So, um, you know, a blog to watch, visit that blog and read it. And obviously do not copy and paste entire blogs because Google will not rank you if you do that. Plagiarism is important. You can get ideas, you know, so you can see what they're writing about or they're writing about Rolex or whatever. And then you can come in here and you can just repurpose that to be in your own words. And, but you get that idea from the popular things that come out of Google, but it's important to have a blog with your e-commerce store because sometimes the blog is what will attract a traffic so if your blog is well written with seo people might be searching for something else and then they see your blog and then when they read your blog then they see your blog is on your website and then they see the shop page and then they buy something from you but your blog can in increase the entire um sort of um authority of your whole website so if you write read popular blogs that people read your entire website will be lifted up the search engine rankings so that even though um you're, you're not really a blogger the fact that your blogger is popular and being read by other people your entire website is going to go up and when your entire website goes up it means when somebody is searching for a watch your website is going to appear at the top the even your shop website and then people are going to be able to find your website that way so highly recommend blogging um is a must and i'm not going to update this for now i'm just going to actually change the i want to change the featured image um let me just have a look at there um i want to change the featured image because that's the image that appears on the on my front page and i don't want that image i'm going to try and find another featured image and i'll leave the alt text out for now and i'm going to update that okay so let's go back and just change the featured image on all the and even the topics okay our watch is still a thing let's just change this if you go back to the home page now and you go to the bottom you will see that your blogs uh, the one that you changed so this year so you've changed the images and the topics and obviously when you change the entire blog all of this will change okay and um um if you go to the shop page of your uh, website okay so there's currently only one item in your store i need to figure out why this is so let's go back to our store the reason why our products uh, were not showing in the store is they were not published. So um, some uh, sort of, you know, dropshipping plugins, when they import your products to store, they will auto-publish them, and which is what I'm used to. So this one did not auto-publish. The product was just imported as a draft. And that is a good time for you to go into the product and before you publish it yourself in your store, double check the heading. Obviously, you want to change this title. You want to change the, the, the descriptions, the write up, and then publish the items. If you want to bulk publish, you can just click on all of it and choose a bulk edit. 
and then bulk publish all of them but i've just done that in the background and, and they are all published into the store so if i go back to my store there um if i go back to the shop i should see all the products appearing because i've just published all of them so this is all the watches we're selling in our store and if you go to the home page under your uh special you know sort of top items the top you know uh, will show up here as well and your our website is now completed okay so thank you guys very much for watching you can use this type of tutorial to build any store that you like we picked a watch store you could sell here you could sell makeup you could sell just about anything that you want drop shipping it from aliexpress directly and start making money online